Young Jews, like most young Americans, are craving for meaning in their lives. This upcoming generation, more so than maybe any other in recent memory, are looking for ways to get involved in causes that are beyond themselves and beyond their needs. During Operation Cast Lead, which was one of Israel's operations in Gaza, we staged a rally on 42nd Street and 14,000 Jews came out. But it was at that moment that I really felt that my personal and professional lives had converged, that every energy that I felt, every passion that I felt for the Jewish community had really come alive in this moment of support for Israel. The issues that Hadassah is advocating for this year and as we move forward include human trafficking, affordable child care, and gender disparities in health care research and preventive care. Each member of Hadassah can make a difference locally and across their state in the country by advocating for each or all of these issues with Hadassah and make a huge difference. It's really important that Hadassah members realize the impact that they can make. There are 330,000 Hadassah members in every congressional district around the United States. Every member can go to their legislator, either in Washington or in their state capitals, and they can show that Hadassah has the strength to make an impact. Hadassah is one of the very few medical centers in the world that can conduct its own clinical trials, is independent in developing new immunotherapies and can give treatments, innovative immunotherapy approaches that are otherwise not available for patients. Thanks to the availability of these treatments, we are saving patients' lives. My daughter, who's 14, was looking for something uh, as, a as a high school freshman that would look good on her college application. And so she invited some of her friends over and I said, well, we'll do a fundraising project, but first I want you to figure out where you want the money to go at Hadassah. And to be able to do that, you need to understand what Hadassah does. And one of them was very cute. She said, oh, she, was, she said, I know what we're going to do. And she was looking at the tower and I said, oh, do you want to donate money to the tower? And she said, no, I want to build a pavilion. I said, a pavilion? I said, well, it might be expensive. And she said, well, if we raise $1,000 a year, we're 14, if we do it till we're grandmas, do you think we'll have enough if we do it every year? And I smiled and I said, you'll have enough. And I knew I had struck the chord I wanted to, to strike with them. I knew I had them for life. I think we always have to be open to new ideas and possibilities. So for me, I began my career as you know, a municipal lawyer, I have a finance background. Who knew that 30 years later, I would have had these amazing opportunities to be part of a community, to make a community better. Being a part of this leadership board has given me an opportunity to see a potential future and how we change a little bit, we enhance, we make better what Hadassah is about because I think it's really important. It's, it's not just grandma's organization, it's our organization. And there are opportunities for this generation, for the generation behind us to really grow as community leaders, as community doers, as community activists, and to make, to make our communities better. made my journey around the country, I was also making my spiritual journey, my religious journey, which has been one that has been, like many people, not always on an even keel. So I hadn't been as engaged in the Jewish community. And as Hadassah has always offered to me, this is a setting where we bring together that power element. When you are at a national convention, you are surrounded by energy of powerful women. Not all women are exposed to that, that level of, it's, it's awe-inspiring. <laughs>